Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. When you hear the name TCL, what comes to mind? Well, for me, it's right here behind me. This TCL 75 inch TV set that I've had for a few years still is looking quite good today. I've been very pleased with their products. Well, TCL is wanting to advance their line of home products, and part of that line is robot vacuums. Several months ago, they released two robot vacuums, the 1000 series and the 2000 series. Uh, they have recently announced at CES a 6000 and 6500 series robot vacuum. Those include LiDAR navigation and the 6500 has a auto empty dustbin. I'm very excited to see how that unit will perform. Uh, those are not available yet, just yet, but I do have one of the latest offerings right here with me today. This is the TCL Suiva 2000, and it is a sort of entry-line robot vacuum. We'll dive right in now and take a look at what is inside the box and talk a little bit about its features. Included in the box is a manual, a quick start guide, two spare side spinning brushes, a spare air filter, a set of magnetic strips, the charging dock, the charger, a little pack of 3M adhesive to keep the dock from moving around, a nice remote control, and a tool to clean your roller brush on the TCL Suiva 2000. Underneath everything is fairly standard. We have cliff sensors, uh, two side spinning brushes there. We also have a main roller brush that is removable and cleanable. Uh, we also have a power button on the very bottom here that you can turn it on and off and the two drive motor wheels. On the top of the Suiva 2000 is just a single power button to control the unit. There is no LiDAR because this is a random navigation robot vacuum. The internal dustbin is 600 milliliters, which is a decent size for a robot vacuum. Uh, in the top of the dustbin, you do have the filter, which just simply pops right out. It is washable. Uh, and uh, TCL calls it a HEPA filter too. The dock is fairly standard with a charging indicator light on the top, two charging contacts, and on the back there is a nice place to wrap excess cord around. I was pretty impressed with the remote control that is included. It allows you to select automatic cleaning, edge cleaning, spot cleaning, change the fan speed, and also send it back to the dock. Along with manual control of the remote vacuum, pause and start and also allows you to set the time on the remote and set a scheduled cleaning on the timer. Now that we have the specs out of the way, let's talk about performance, pros and cons, and finally value. The Suiva 2000 is a random navigation robot vacuum, meaning it does not navigate around your house in a systematic way like other robots with cameras or LiDAR. This means the Suiva will bounce around your home in a random pattern until either you stop it it gets stuck or the battery goes dead. These types of robot vacuums are great for small dorms, studio apartments, or for people with very open layouts in their home due to the way it cleans. The Suiva 2000 does not have a mop attachment available for it. The Suiva 2000 uses TCL's home app, which can be easily downloaded and installed. Once the app is set up, the options are limited to mostly the same controls as you have on the separate handheld remote, except for a few exceptions. The differences in the app are that you can see the battery percentage, update the firmware, see cleaning history, and locate your robot via an audible sound if it gets lost. As far as setting up the app, I did have an initial issue, connecting the robot to my home Wi-Fi. The instructions said to hold down the power button for about seven seconds until I hear a beep, and then you can start the process. Well, if you hold it down, there is a beep at four seconds, and then another one at seven seconds. And if you don't hold it down and wait for the two beeps, which is interestingly not described this way in the instructions, your robot will fail to connect. Uh, however, once it was paired, the app did work fairly, fairly well. The Suiva 2000 works good on all types of floors, including carpets and rugs, thanks to its built-in carpet boost technology, its 150 minutes of runtime, and 2000 pascals of suction power. In my carpet pickup test, I ran the Suiva in spot cleaning mode, which allows the robot to clean in a small area. I placed 54 grams of rice around the robot, 
and I was able to pick up an average of about 45% of rice after three attempts. While the synthetic test is hard for robot vacuums, twice its price, I would have liked to seen it closer to 70%. In everyday cleaning, I thought the Suiva did a pretty remarkable job though, keeping my floors clean. Okay, some things I really liked about the Suiva. I like the low profile of the robot. It has the lowest profile of any robot I have personally tested to date. That allowed it to get under my couches, several tables, and places my other robot vacuums just can't clean. I appreciate the easy to access dustbin with washable filter. The edge cleaning mode worked pretty well. It basically found the walls and followed them around the house. Spot cleaning mode also worked pretty well. I was surprised how quickly it was able to find its way back to the dock, even from the other side of my house. It has yet to fail to find the dock, which is pretty amazing for these types of robot vacuums. I also thought the front bumper sensitivity was quite good. It never just plowed into things like some more expensive robot vacuums do. We'll just say it's a very gentle robot. And now some things that I did not like about the Suiva 2000. Side brushes spin a bit too fast and can scatter debris. There is only one speed and it is not adjustable in the app or on the remote. If you set a schedule on the remote, it saves it to the robot, but you're not able to see that schedule in the app. Although you can configure multiple separate cleaning schedules through the app. Hopefully they can add this feature in the future. There are several times the Suiva lodged itself under the edge of my couch and got stuck there. Because the front is the same height as the back, this can happen is something to be aware of. The robot did get stuck several other times in various places around my house, but this is pretty typical of most all random navigation robot vacuums. You have to have some patience with these robots. I can't tell if the ends of the main roller brush are designed to be removable for cleaning. I was able to remove one end, but the other end was not able to be removed, which is quite interesting. Getting that side back on was also a bit tricky, so I suggest just leaving them on. This is not something you'd normally find at this price point, however, I thought I'd share my personal experience. The app at times was a bit slow to refresh. Oftentimes I had to back out and go back in to see the status, and at times the loading information was a bit longer than I expected. This could be addressed in a software and firmware update in the future though. Okay, one last thing to mention, it's not really a pro or a con, but it appears that you can run the Suiva 2000 entirely without its dustbin inserted. So just something to know. Obviously it will continue to pick up dirt and just spit it right back out the back. Okay, let's wrap up by talking about value. The TCL Suiva 2000 is priced right above $200, link in the description below. While it does have a few things going for it that other random navigation robots do not, I would say wait for this guy to go on sale before picking one up. If you need something bigger and more advanced, TCL will be coming out with their new 6000 series of smart robot vacuums with LiDAR and even an auto empty dock. I look forward to checking those out very soon. TCL is new to the robot vacuum market, so I still think they have a few growing pains to work out. As long as you know what to expect for, with random navigation robots, the Suiva 2000 from TCL should do the job just fine. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the TCL Suiva 2000. I appreciate you watching this and take it easy everyone. Bye bye.